Okay, right here is a 2003 Lee Bear R995 hydraulic front shovel. The R995 series was first announced by Lee Bear in 1997 as a gap filler between the smaller 994 and the larger 996 series. And the following year, in 1998, the R995 series went into full production with early units being built and sold in backhoe configuration. The front shovel version was first displayed at the October 2000 Mine Expo Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. This particular R995 that you are looking at right here is currently awaiting a $1.5 million rebuild. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this big machine. Available from Lee Bear in either front shovel or backhoe configuration, depending on what the customer preferred, the R995 was designed to swing a rock bucket or bull clam ranging anywhere from 31.4 to 36.6 cubic yard capacity for both configurations. On the back of the bull clam, you can see where the two bucket cylinders connect to curl the bull clam in or out. And if you look up top under the boom, you can see the two stick cylinders to push the stick in or out. If you look right here, you can see where the boom and boom cylinders pin to the superstructure on the machine. Forty-seven inch general purpose crawler shoes were standard for the R995 excavator. However, Lee Bear also offered optional wider and narrower crawler shoes for the R995 series, depending on the type of ground conditions that this machine would be working on. Each one of the massive crawlers on the R995 measures 28 feet 10 inches in length and 8 feet 2 inches in height. And this machine has a top travel speed of 1.67 miles per hour. And to help give you an idea of the sheer size of an R995 excavator, this machine measures 28 feet 11 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 29 feet wide. Let's go up on top of this big shovel. Okay, inside of this first compartment, which is located directly below the operator's cab, is the electronic room. Let's go inside and check it out. Inside of this box that you see mounted on the wall 
is where all of the computers, relays, and electronics are located to work this machine. And this compartment also acts as a storage compartment. Through this door is the pump and engine room. Let's go inside and check it out. Here you can get a good view of the hydraulic system on the R995. An 800 gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank supplies the system with hydraulic oil. Six variable flow axial piston main pumps power both the front attachment and travel functions on this machine, which you can see right here. Each main pump on this machine has a rated hydraulic output of 222 GPM and operates under a maximum hydraulic pressure of 4640 PSI and four reversible swash plate pumps power the closed loop swing circuit. Each swing pump has a rated hydraulic output of 95.4 GPM and operates under a maximum hydraulic pressure of 5,076 PSI. The R995 is equipped with four Liebherr axial piston swing motors to power the swing function on this machine. Now let's go and check out the engine. The R995 series was powered by a single MTU Detroit 16V4000 E20 V16 turbocharged and after-cooled diesel engine, which you can see right back here. And this engine produces 2140 horsepower for this machine. The engine features an electronic engine control system which monitors engine speed over the entire engine RPM range. This provides engine integration with other machine systems. The engine receives its fuel from a 2640 gallon diesel fuel tank and Liebherr also offered an optional low temperature package for this machine featuring electrically driven warm air blowers and heaters for the engine pumps, batteries and control valves with thermal insulating added around all major components. And the 995 could also be set up with optional electric drive powered by a 6600 volt 1750 kilowatt Alston type N3 RX560 AC squirrel cage motor. And this machine also features two separate water cooling circuits. Okay, now let's go up top. Okay, from here you can get a good overview of the top deck on an R995. Here you can see the four air intakes and air cleaners for the engine. All of these red canisters that you see on the top of the machine's counterweight are for the fire suppressant system. And right here you can see the cover 
over the mufflers and tailpipes. On the right side of this machine is the hydraulic oil cooling unit, which you can see right here. The R995 is equipped with two hydraulic coolers equipped with three temperature regulated hydraulically driven fans. And from here you can see all of the hydraulic hoses on this excavator that run out to power the front shovel attachment in the front. Now let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the R995. Okay, this is an air suspension seat that can be adjusted to fit the operator's weight and position. Now let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Okay, these two big foot pedals that you see directly out in front of the operator's seat control the travel functions on this excavator. Each foot pedal controls each individual track. These two smaller foot pedals that you see to the right of the travel foot pedals control the bull clamp functions. And as you can see, to the left and right of the travel foot pedals, you can see two foot rests. This window that you see mounted in the left side corner on the floor of the operator's cab provides the operator with visibility to see what's below this machine and for a better view of the tracks. The two electric joysticks that you see to the right and left of the operator's seat control all the digging functions of the front shovel attachment in the front or if this machine were set up as a backhoe. Off to the right side, here you can see the digital LCD display screen, which provides real-time information to the operator on the operating status of this machine, and will also alert the operator in case of a malfunction. This machine also featured a pressureless boom-down function for fast cylinder retraction without energy consumption, and also an electronic cylinder damping system. And off to the right side control panel, you can see other switches, warning lights, gauges, and controls to work other various functions and to monitor this entire machine when it's in operation. And from right here, you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running an R995. The noise level inside the operator's cab of the R995 is rated to be below 77 decibels. And this beautiful cab was designed exclusively for Lee Bear's mining class of hydraulic excavators. To the left of the operator's seat, here you can see the fold down trainer seat. And behind the operator's seat, you can see the built in switch cabinets. Mounted on the side windows of the operator's cab are the sun lovers. You can see one right here. And this is to help reduce the sunlight glare in on the operator when he's operating this machine. Directly out in front of the operator's cab is the emergency access stairway. And this is to provide safe access for the operator to get off of this machine in case of an emergency. And from here you can get another good view looking out at the front shovel attachment in the front.
from under here, you can see where the two Liebherr axial piston travel motors are located. One on each crawler frame, and this is what will propel each individual track. And as you can see, both of the hydraulic motors and the hydraulic lines that run to power the motors are encased inside of these metal shields. And this is to protect the motors and the hydraulic hoses from any rocks, dirt, or falling debris when the shovel is in operation. And the R995 is also equipped with a centralized service fluid filling station, which utilizes a hydraulically powered drop-down service flap. And on the back of the machine's counterweight, you can see where it says, 995 Lee Bear. And the overall operating weight of an early 995 excavator can range anywhere from 433 to 456 tons, depending on the year of build and also configuration. As the years pressed onward, the 995 received numerous upgrades and improvements that increased the overall operating weight of this machine to range between 484.4 to 486 tons in backhoe configuration and ranged between 494.3 to 496 tons in front shovel configuration. Unfortunately, the 995 series never quite caught on in the market the same as the highly successful R996 series. And following nearly a decade since the commissioning of the last 995 excavator to Yarraby Coal in Australia in 2016, Liebherr quietly closed the book on the 995 mining excavator, with current machine availability being only in dredge configuration. And you know, I can't help but say maybe I should have just done this entire video in my Australian accent. Right, right, but there she is, mates. A 2003 Liebel 995 digger.